So in today's video, I'm going to birdie every hole. So I'm going to be playing almost 6,700 yards today. So it's about the basic average distance that the LPGA Tour plays, maybe even towards the longer side. So this is going to be a real tournament distance course and I'm just going to see what it takes for me to birdie every single hole. Okay, so for today's video, my plan is to see how many mulligans it takes for me to birdie every single hole. And there's a few reasons why I want to do this, which I will explain further during the video. But I think it'll be an experiment and an interesting experiment that um, I kind of thought about because like in the last round, my tournament round, I had six birdies out of eight holes and I was wondering, why can't you get nine birdies? Like what is really stopping my game from getting birdie every single hole like what is the missing factor or what do I need to work on and I think this is actually going to be a good way for me to find that out so we got a legit birdie in the first hole no mulligans required it was a pretty it's on the shorter side it's playing 355 yards hit a decent drive hit a decent approach shot gave myself about a four footer for birdie so the first hole I think we can see was just a good birdie so let's see what we can do with the second hole which is a par five So for my approach shot here, I have 234 yards, it's playing 238. There's a bunker in front that's about 196 to carry. So I know that the bunker is going to make it very hard for me to make a birdie. So I'm not going to go for the pin here, I'm just going to go for the left side and try to give myself a chip. So I hit it more left than I was intending to. I think subconsciously in my head, I was kind of thinking there's nothing on the left side and there is like three bunkers down the right side. So what's the point of really going for it and leaving yourself with like a 40, 50 yard bunker shot that's going to be so difficult to get up and down. Whereas on the left side, there is absolutely nothing. So as you can see here, I'm basically the same line as the green, but as I said, bunkers over there, which is like this one especially, is really in the carry distance which is actually exactly where you need to hit if you wanted to go for that green. So I think this is actually the perfect play for this hole. Unless you have shorter, if you have like a shorter distance that you know you can 100% carry that bunker or like you're going to carry it to the front of the green, then I think it's fine. But for me, it's just 230 into the wind. Like there was just no chance I was going to carry that to 220, which is to the front of the green. So left side was the smarter play here. I'll be honest, I didn't hit that chip that great. It was kind of a tight lie and it was downhill. And I thought I caught it a little bit too far, like hit it too far. But it ended up being perfect. So I guess when you give yourself better positions, you just also have better chances at hitting a not perfect shot and still ending up with a good result. Like if I were to make a mistake in the bunker, it's going to be very difficult to get an up and down from there versus from where I was.
it would have obviously been a lot easier to part from this side of the pin versus where I was on the right side of the pin so this would have been the better approach area so I didn't hit a bad approach there, it was pin high, it's just the direction was a little bit off so it left me in a pretty difficult position for the putt it was not an impossible putt, like I made the second, made it the second go around and obviously it helps when you already know the line to make the second putt but I think that's just part of showing you why golf is so difficult it's like you can hit a good shot and still be left in a difficult position um, just you know that the direction is so important, distance is so important, everything is so important. You need perf like there's no such thing as perfect in golf, and that's why getting 18 birdies in a round it's like, is it impossible? No, it's not. But is it going to be very difficult? Yes, because there's so many elements that comes into play. You can be hitting good shots the entire day, hitting good putts the entire day, and still not make 18 birdies around. should be good oh guys I almost had it <laughs> so one of the reasons why I like to do these kind of challenges is because you you tend to start noticing trends and when you notice trends it's the same as keeping stats you know you guys know I use this app called up game which by the way if you guys want to sign up for that there's gonna be a link down below but that's besides the point what I'm saying is doing things like stats, like it's important because then you notice trends and when you notice trends, that's how you start getting better. You know, that's how you start fixing what is actually the problem. You know, it's like the, it's like the saying, if you don't know the root cause, like how are you going to get better? How are you going to improve? Because you, you might be trying to fix something, but it might not be actually what needs fixing. Like the only way to know is to do something such as keeping stats, which is, you know, an objective way to actually see what you're doing good and what you're not doing as good and what you can help to improve your scoring versus just going by feel because some days you might be like oh i hit that so bad but then it still ended up being a good shot like because some sometimes i hear people you know misanalyze their games like they're like oh i'm putting so bad yeah but you left yourself 40 feet from the pin every single time so are you really putting bad or will you or should you like um reduce the proximity of your ball to the hole so that means you, if your ball striking was better you would be putting better as well so it really depends um it's very hard to be objective especially on a game like golf where you you feel everything you know you you feel like when you miss a putt you feel it whereas it's harder you know when you miss a shot you feel it too so doing something like keeping stats that's what i feel is very important but on the course what you can do when you're practicing is something like this and you might be thinking like Jen I can barely make a par how am I gonna make a birdie obviously you can cater this game to yourself you can try to make nine pars in a row or you can try to make nine bogeys in a row it depends on what your level is what your ability is you don't have to try and make nine birdies in a row obviously um, that's just what I'm trying to do but you can always cater this game to yourself So what's funny is that's four out of five holes like actual birdies without a mulligan and it kind of makes you think maybe it's not that you have a problem but maybe it's just that sometimes your mindset is that you're out here not to play I mean you're always out here to hit your to hit the best shots to make the lowest scores but you know like playing what I'm playing today I'm not focusing on a birdie, I'm focusing on how it's best, what I can do best to get a birdie. So I'm focusing on hitting good shots, I'm focusing on giving myself the best opportunity to make that birdie. And I think that's kind of funny because it's like, this is the best I've played here. I mean, I'm hitting it okay, it's not like I'm hitting it really good. But And the greens today are even kind of rough, but if you hit it close enough, it doesn't really matter. But it's kind of funny that, I mean, I just made four real birdies out of five holes 
when on the day that I'm thinking that I want to birdie every single hole. So it kind of makes you think. It sometimes just could be a mindset. Like we're limiting ourselves. We're thinking like, oh, you know, we usually just shoot two, three under. We're giving ourselves that limit. But it's like, what can you actually shoot if you just focus on hitting the best shots that you can rather than focus on what kind of score you're going to produce? I can't believe I just made that birdie. Like this hole is a 210 yard par 3. For me, I'm happy making par here. So again, like I was saying, maybe it's expectations. I'm not saying you should go out there and expect to birdie. But you know, when you're not focusing, I think sometimes too, it's just a little bit of focusing on just hitting the right shot versus focusing on what you don't want to do, what you want to score, all those things that doesn't help you. Like focusing on just hitting it. Like for me on that tee shot, I was just focusing on hitting it towards the right side of this green which is what I did and you know I didn't expect to hit it that good but I hit it good and I gave myself a birdie chance and I made it like obviously you still have to hit good shots don't get me wrong like you're not just gonna think your way out of hitting bad shots and suddenly start hitting good shots but for sure expectations and the way you approach a game affects the way you swing affects the way you hit the ball and eventually will affect the way that you score <laughs> i think another thing that this experiment shows is that you don't really need to hit perfect shots to make birdies all the time it's like you know you just need to hit the shots that are like i said before your drive is a layup so your drive needs to be in a good position when you leave yourself in a good position after that it comes up to your approach shot and your approach shot too you don't you're not gonna hit it like a foot close all the time you know obviously the ones that i hit really close i had short wedges into the green but what I'm saying is that it's not always going to be perfect shots. Sometimes you're going to have to make a 15 footer, but it's, you know, it's not perfection. It's just giving. I can already say now if I had a chance to take a mulligan on the tee shot, I would have. Because this is one of the holes when you hit down the left side, you just get a ton of kick and you end up hitting it a lot further. Like I, as you can see here, I stayed on the right side so I didn't get that bounce. So now I can't, I can't see the pin. So it's gonna be a tough second shot, but let's see if we can still make a birdie from here. <laughs> I don't know I think it's good <laughs> but we'll have to see but we'll have to see if we got the right distance and even the right direction so we don't know we'll see <laughs> wow guys I'm on the green and putting for birdie oh my goodness look at that this is going a lot better than I expected it to I think I should like do this all the time when I play <laughs> I mean, I couldn't fake this if I tried. I don't know what's going on today, guys. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, I don't know. It could just be little expectation. Maybe I'm still coming off the high of playing well the other day. I don't know. I'm not hitting perfect shots, but it's just turning out good. It's going where I want it to. And I guess sometimes it's your day. I don't know. I think the funny thing to ask yourself too is like, why have expectations? Like you never know what's going to happen with golf. Every day is so different. There's so many elements in golf like we said. So why would you expect anything other than just going out there and trying to do the best you can and just seeing what happens. I think that's an important lesson too. Just to like the way that you see golf, the way that you play golf, the way that you tackle your golf game. It doesn't mean it's going to be perfect all the time. But you're just going to have so much more fun, less expectations and just enjoying yourself on the golf course more. And as a result, you're going to just shoot better scores without having to force it. Oh. Let's see if we can 
can do it in Mulligan. I mean, I was definitely expecting to need more than two mulligans in eight holes, so you can't make them all. It's alright. At least I made it the second time. <laughs> so I finally got a new rangefinder. My old rangefinder lasted me from freshman year of college, and I can now tell slope. So I can actually tell you how steep this hole is. Oh, oh wow. So the verdict is it's 197 playing 163 yards. So that is very steep downhill. <laughs> So I hope you guys learned something from watching that video. If not, I hope you guys just had fun watching me make a bunch of birdies. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.